Welcome back everybody, this is Eric, Iraq Veteran 8888. We're here at SHOT Show 2014, we're at the Smith & Wesson uh, booth here. Uh, it's really kind of a shame to call it a booth. I mean, it's actually more of a just beautiful display here that they've got of all their new stuff coming out, some of the old favorites as well. Uh, we're going to look at some of the revolvers we shot uh, at Range Day uh, Monday and show you a little bit closer look at them, learn a little bit more about them, and uh, show you guys around the booth just a little bit. It's going to be a cool video, guys. All right, everyone, I'm here today with Tony Smith & Weston. He's going to show us a couple of the revolvers that we had out the range the other day on Monday. Um, how you doing? Good. How are you? Awesome. I'm great. great. Yeah, he's new out of the Performance Center this year. This is our 929 revolver. You guys shot it out the range. It's actually an eight-shot, nine-millimeter revolver. It's shot with moon clips. Okay, the idea behind this gun was really USPSA, i uh, Steel Challenge, Bianchi Cup. It's going to be great for all those different disciplines. It's a six-inch barrel. It's got a compensator on it. If you're shooting open class, you want a compensator. If you don't want to shoot open class, you can take the compensator off, replace it with a cap, okay? It's out of the performance center, so it leaves with an action package. You have about a three and a half pound single action trigger pull and about a 10 pound double action trigger pull. Yeah. Competition shooters are gonna really like that. Also new this year is our 986. Uh, same idea as the last gun we talked about, titanium cylinder. The little difference here is it's on an L-frame. So if those people with smaller hands, maybe younger shooters, maybe female shooters, that can't hold an end frame, uh, it's gonna be ideal for them. Seven shot revolver, once again, 10 pound double action mainspring pull, five inch uh, tapered performance center barrel, a little bit longer sight radius because it's five inches. That's gonna be great for all those same disciplines too. Outstanding. So basically, same concept. You're losing around because you're going down in frame size, and then it's just a little bit smaller, for, you know, smaller hands, smaller exactly. stature people. Whatever. But for those same disciplines, it's going to be a great gun for shooting. Of course. Awesome. Well, I know um, at the range the other day, it was a very nice shooting firearm. I know I got to shoot a couple of cylinders out of it. Um, it's hard to, you know, gather a, uh, a full opinion just over a few cylinders, but probably at some point we'll be able to get one of these out and uh, do a little bit more work with it. And uh, out to 100 yards, uh, there was a, a big steel gong back there, and we were uh, ringing it pretty decent. Yep. Uh, you know, for a 9 millimeter, you can't go wrong there. Definitely a fine firearm, so uh, absolutely. Uh, we want to check out that 44 Magnum we were shooting at the range. Let's go Very check good. that out. All right, when we were out at the range day on Monday, we were also uh, able to shoot the Model 69. Uh, that's their new uh, 44 Magnum that's built on uh, the N-frame. L-frame. 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 Right, L-frame. So, four and a quarter inch barrel, mm -hmm. all glass bead finish. Uh, it's on our L-frame. You can't get six rounds in there, but you can get five. It's a 44 Magnum, uh, nice rubber grip, helps with the recoil. I mean, yeah. it's a little handful to shoot. It is, it is. Uh, we really enjoyed shooting that gun the other day. Um, there was a, like a little 10 inch gong posted 100 yards away and you know, Ray was gonna take some shots at it and we were all like, oh, he can't hit that. He hit it two times out of five yep. at 100 yards. So and it really lobs him in there. And I think we were shooting the uh, Federal uh, 240 grain ammo out there. Did, did fine. And recoil is a little snappy, but it's 44 Magnum. What do you expect? Um, it shot great. I love the trigger on the gun. You know, definitely nice, comfortable um, grip profile. I love the, you know, the soft grips. Just kind of helps, you know, mitigate sure. some of those recoil forces. Um, a fine firearm. I can't wait to get my hands on one. Very cool.